The following is a CNN special report. Welcome back to CNN. I'm Dana Bash. Joining me tonight is Linda Miller, director of the Cancer Research Institute. Now, Linda, you are here tonight to discuss what the CDC is calling the cure for cancer. I'm sorry, my producers are telling me to toss it to our very own Wolf Blitzer, who is standing by with breaking news. This is CNN Breaking News. Good evening, I'm Wolf Blitzer with Breaking News. CNN reports that two people in Dubuque, Iowa, were rushed to the hospital where they were found to be riddled with the bubonic plague. The plague, also known as Black Death, is most famous for killing 50 million people across Asia, Europe, and Africa in the 14th century. The resurgence of the plague has put another bizarre twist in what has already been a truly astounding year. Back to you, Dana. Yes, a truly bizarre year. Luckily, that disease is very treatable these days. For more on that story, maybe just keep an eye on CNN.com. Now, back to the woman who cured cancer. And <laughs> once again, producers are telling me to toss it to Wolf for an update. This is CNN Breaking News. Good evening, I'm Wolf Blitzer back with even more breaking news. The situation in Iowa is taking a dramatic turn. What was once thought to be an isolated incident of the bubonic plague has now turned out to be a full-on outbreak. The National Guard has been called in and military officials have quarantined the state to prevent further outbreak. True American chaos is upon us and some believe the apocalypse is imminent. As always, I, Wolf Butcher, will be the only person qualified to give you important updates on this matter. But until further notice, I'll toss it back to uh, whatever you are working on, Dana. Wolf. That's ridiculous. One would say somebody who's not as important as me getting a very important interview is also ridiculous. What? Good evening, I'm Wolf Blitzer back in front of you with a very important update. In a pond, there are big fish and there are little fish. One thing a little fish should never do is get in the way of a big fish. That's me. Back to you, little this fish. This is insane. Would you please stop interrupting my program with your bruised ego? And besides, there are plenty of other big fish here at CNN. We have Anderson and Chris and Don. Wolf Blitzer here again. Polls across America show that not one person would know Anderson Cooper's pasty ass if it weren't for the Wolf Man. Oh! Would you just grow up. I'm sorry, Dana, but when you're as big as the Wolf Man, then you can make the rules. Where did you get that button? No time for that. Breaking news out of Germany. A local man named Liam Neeson is currently saving thousands of Jewish people from the Holocaust by employing them in his factory. We are not even making this up anymore. That is the plot of award winning my favorite film, Schindler's List. Are Lips. you saying this is fake? Yes. Breaking news. Local CNN anchor Dana Bash denies the Holocaust live on air. Breaking news. Local CNN anchor Dana Bash being canceled by her two followers for denying the Holocaust live on air. Wolf. Breaking news, Dana Bash. I didn't hear anything, did you? Wolf. La, 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 la. Wolf. Wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Because clearly, this is Wolf's network. And none of you, none of you are going to stop him, right? Right? Okay, so you know what? Wolf, take the interview. Enjoy. Uh, well, if, if you don't mind. Good evening. Uh, Good evening, Wolf. Good evening, lady. Yep. So, uh, tell me, what does Wolf Blitzer mean to you? And that's all I have for you tonight. Up next is, what do you know? The fucking situation room with fucking Wolf fucking Blitz fucking Er. I'm Dana Besh, and tomorrow, check in to see me, blonde. Oh!